So today I'm going to take a few minutes and I'm going to answer some of the questions from Google regarding reptiles. Here I started typing are reptiles and the first question was, are reptiles cold-blooded? Kind of? So the term is ectothermic. Basically what that means is that you're getting like your heat energy from external sources, so from your environment, as opposed to endothermic where you're basically burning calories, food, to generate your own body heat. With that said, most reptiles are ectothermic. However, there are some that show some endothermic tendencies. So for example, Argentine tegus can actually raise their body temperature a few degrees in the morning, like before they even come out. Um, some sea turtles are able to help regulate their body temperature and ball pythons and other pythons are known to like shiver on their eggs, which helps to generate heat. So in all of those examples, the animals are ectothermic, but they show some endothermic traits. Whereas the group of reptiles that we have alive today that are entirely endothermic would be the birds. And yes, birds are reptiles. And this is going to lead us into our next question. Are reptiles animals? They are. Reptiles are, are definitely animals. Sea cucumbers are animals, okay? If a sea cucumber is an animal and a starfish is an animal, a snake or a lizard, definitely an animal. Now, it would not surprise me if they meant like, are reptiles mammals? In which case, no, they're not. They are animals, they're vertebrates, but they are animals. Seems like we've got a lot of repeat questions here because the next one is, are reptiles ectothermic? So I answered that one before, basically, for the most part, yes, with the exception of the birds, which no. Are reptiles warm-blooded? This would be endothermic and the birds. Are reptiles mammals? Just answered that before. Again, a lot of repeat questions right here. They're not mammals, they are vertebrates. Are reptiles amphibians? This is a new one and very interesting. So, reptiles are not amphibians. In fact, reptiles are more closely related to us than they are to amphibians. And I find this really interesting because a lot of people tend to group reptiles and amphibians together. And I think it's just because things like salamanders and newts tend to have like a similar body structure to a lot of reptiles, but reptiles are actually more closely related to us and all of the mammals than they are to the amphibians. Are reptiles dinosaurs? So some of them are. So basically all dinosaurs are reptiles. Not all reptiles are dinosaurs. And the only extant lineage of dinosaurs that we have today would be the birds. All right, so since we had so many repetitions in that, I'm gonna do a second one, and this is gonna be do reptiles. And the first one is do reptiles have emotions? And the answer is definitely yes. So when people when we think of like do animals have emotions, people are generally thinking of like love. But let's let's put love aside for a second and let's talk about just emotions in general. So things like fear, happiness, anxiety, though these are all emotions, and reptiles can have a vast majority of emotion. They, they can get scared, they can get excited, all of that. Now when we talk about love, this is very, very difficult because we have a very difficult time recognizing love in animals, but even more so we have a very difficult time defining love in people. Do reptiles feel love? I think by some definitions of love, yes. By other definitions of love, probably not. But do they feel emotions? Definitely. Do reptiles hibernate? So they do, when reptiles hibernate, we call it brumation. Um, and obviously the ones that do this are going to be the ones in areas that have difficult cold winters and stuff like that is why they would be hibernating. Things that live in the tropics generally do not brumate, but things that live in areas that do get cold in the winter time, yes, they would be brumating. And interestingly, some species of reptiles actually require brumation to breed. Like that is part of their reproductive cycle. So like if you're keeping them in captivity and you don't br brumate them, so you don't cool them off for a few months in the winter time, they won't actually like be able to have eggs or anything like that. Do reptiles lay eggs? They do mostly. So all of the birds lay eggs. And then when we start talking about like the squamate reptiles, the, um, the lizards and snakes, most of them do. It's estimated that somewhere around 15 to 20% don't lay eggs um, and actually give live birth. Obviously they're not placental animals. So when they're giving live birth, what's actually happening is they're developing the baby inside an egg inside the mother. And that egg is essentially hatching within the mother and then being born. So ultimately the baby is coming into the world live and they're not laying eggs. But like I said, this happens only about 15 to 20% of the time. The rest of the time, they're laying eggs. And for some reptiles, the actual temperature determines the sex of the babies. This happens most prominently with turtles and crocodilians. 
Do reptiles have penises? Most of them. So like uh, the birds, some don't, some do. Ducks and geese actually have corkscrew shaped penises whereas chickens don't have a penis at all. And then other things like snakes will have actually two penises, hemipenes. So it's gonna vary a lot depending on what reptile you're talking about. But generally speaking, they do, unless we're talking about most of the birds. Do reptiles have lungs? They do, all reptiles have lungs. Again, I think people are thinking of like amphibians when they're asking this question. Do reptiles feel pain? They do feel pain. A lot of people think that they don't, and I think that this is just a way to try to make ourselves feel better for mistreating them, or maybe it's just because people think that they're evil. Um, like people tend to think that like snakes are evil or something like that. Basically, oftentimes for animals that we are mistreating, we say that they can't feel pain as a way to make that okay for us, but it's it's not, they feel pain. Do reptiles sweat? They do not. Do reptiles have scales? So pretty much yes. So in some like birds, a bunch of the scales are actually modified into feathers. Um, but they do have regular scales, like if you look at like their feet. And then most of the other reptiles do also have scales. Again, you've got like some mutations that might um, result in like scalelessness in certain animals. You'll see this in like some snakes and lizards, but for the most part, reptiles have scales. Do reptiles fart? Yes, reptiles can fart. There you go, so I answered some of the most commonly asked reptile questions from Google. If there's anything that you want me to hit that I did not cover, feel free to tell me. And if there's anything that you want me to cover specifically in the future, feel free to let me know that as well. But you've got likes and subscribe buttons down below. Make sure that you hammer away at those, and I will see you next time.